folks, uh, my name is Fletch and I'm here to talk about all the gadgets that we use on a daily basis uh, and things that we kind of rely on and take advantage of, uh, if you want to call it that. Um, because in, in the past, we used to depend upon, uh, all, well, we didn't depend on anything else but uh, our own selves, right, when we were riding way before GPS's and communicators and so forth. Uh, when you talk about communicators uh, in this day, in 2019, in this day and age, uh, we have a lot of uh, choices, right? Of course, you have the top names, uh, Cado, Scala, um, Sina, uh, and uh, a few others that are out there as well. Um, we use it to communicate, to listen to our music, to take phone calls, which is not advisable, um, and so forth, right? So like for me, I'm using the Sina 30K uh, as a main communicator. I also have the Sina 20S uh, as well. It's proven reliable. I've ridden long distances uh, with friends and had no issues uh, communicating, clear communications, uh, and those are advantages, I guess. Right. In the old days, what would happen is that uh, we would in the old days, uh, what would happen is that we would uh, rely on hand signals. Uh, we would plan, of course, uh, in advance. Uh, where we are going, uh, and of course, if there's a turn off uh, or anything else, we would uh, use our hand signals to tell the rest, and everybody would be passing down, you know, like turning left, turning right, uh, and, and so forth. But in your, but now with the communicators, it would mean that uh, you know we would be able to talk to each other make quick detours if you want, uh, and keeping the entire group informed, uh, getting turn-by-turn -turn GPS. Oops. Getting turn-by-turn -turn GPS uh, signals and so forth. Uh, well, not turn-by-turn signal, but turn-by-turn -turn voice commands to our headset so that we know what it is. Right, so those were the advantages uh, in the old days. We had to rely upon hand signals, proper, precise planning to ensure that uh, we all know where we are going to and nobody gets lost. Um, the other advantage, of course, uh, with the communicator would mean that should we lose anybody, we'll be aware of immediately as opposed to, you know, uh, guessing at a later stage, which is no good. To stop at a red light here. And um, yeah, so to me, if there was any issue, the, the tail gunner or the last man could easily inform the leader if there was an issue or someone has fallen out. And this way, we could ensure that, you know, nobody falls out. But that's today, right? In the old days, uh, <laughs> the poor. Tail gunner had to really launch himself and catch up with uh, the lead rider to ensure that he is able to inform that person uh, of what's going on. Then comes the cameras, right? Of course, we have all the latest cameras that we uh, that are in the market. Uh, of course, the leader right now is the GoPro, uh, which is what I have here, the GoPro Hero Seven Black. And uh, mounted in front is my uh, Insta360 X1. 
which is uh, the primary camera that I use to uh, record most of my videos and photos, which is great, right? In the old days, we logged uh, was a difficult thing. Then you have to jury rig uh, a lot of uh, audio and so forth, do a voiceover um, of the uh, on top of the video, which you know kind of doesn't seem the same, right? So we're still now used to people like this having conversations uh, or, or talking about things. Sorry, I have to concentrate a little bit. There's, uh, there's a lot of cars uh, slowing down. As you can see, look at the jam. You can see the jam here. It's quite a lot of cars in the morning. Obviously, everybody's going to work and so forth. Um, and then, of course, as things improve uh, with uh, cameras, uh, then you can add audio like I'm doing here. Uh, my GoPro is mounted in a, a spectral casing which uh, houses the mic adapter and I can input the mic and mount it of course in the front of my helmet like so uh, like here and we then have uh, a better point of view as opposed to being on the sides of the helmet or on top I think this is a better uh, forward point of view uh, to be able to do a vlog, and of course with the uh, Insta360, I have a 360 uh, um, view of everything. And I can, of course, uh, the good thing about the, the, the 360 is it records the video with a 360 view, and all the I can re-record, I can re-go back. Sorry, I could go back and redo the recording again. Well, not redo the recording, but choose different pivot points and then have different points of view. So I literally have an unlimited uh, viewpoint that I can choose for multiple videos that I make. And uh, primarily, of course, is to be able to record, uh, or at least for me, primarily it was to record the journeys, uh, the sights and sound, well, not so much the sounds, but the sights, uh, of the places that we've been to because there's some really beautiful places uh, across the border in Malaysia and Thailand that we could go to and then it would be great uh, if we could record it as well. And of course one of the gadgets that we depend upon quite a fair bit and I'm doing today uh, is the GPS. Now in the old days, I keep saying old days, in the past uh, what would happen is that uh, we would have to plan our routes out. We would have to have maps. And uh, be able to plan out our routes in advance so that, um, you know, we would be able to know our end destination or get lost, right? The, of course, part of, a lot of people would say part of the fun is getting lost. Uh, but sometimes it's no fun. And if you're with a group, then you really have to plan it well. Uh, and because of the maps of smaller towns are not reliable, we couldn't do very much adventuring. We would stick to the main highways and major towns, uh, which after a while starts to become a little bit boring. But. With the advent of GPS, and of course nowadays, uh, even our mobile phones are GPS ready. So it will mean that we could actually use our mobile phones as a GPS to navigate. And I've had friends who've done that. Uh, my only qualm about using a handphone is this, or a mobile phone is this. Uh, our phone invariably, especially nowadays, you look at the Apple, uh, the latest one that has come out, it's almost $2,000. I would be aggrieved if something was to happen to uh, my $2,000 phone. I mean, the, the, the mobile phone holders that we have nowadays, 
are really uh, very sturdy, very good. Uh, they definitely um, able to hold the phone. And in fact, most of the phones claim to be IPv7, but, you know, with the rain uh, and in the past Apple products, we weren't, um, we didn't have any warranty on, warrant, uh, on water damage. So I don't think that's something that you want to have happen to you. Um, in my case, uh, I'm using the TomTom 400 rider. Uh, it's been with me for about five or almost six years and hasn't let me down yet. It is definitely waterproof. Because I've, I've gone through with this uh, in torrential rain with no issues at all. And uh, it is performed very well. Sorry, I had to concentrate. Sorry, traffic was really a bit bad here. Right, so and it's performed pretty well. It's given me uh, precise directions. I know you can say that uh, in today's apps and uh, handphones, uh, they're also very accurate, which is true. But the one down thing about downside about um, mobile phones is it's dependent upon data. So if you have splotchy connections, then you invariably find that it disconnects. Right, whether it's Google Maps or iPhone Maps or what have you. And uh, I don't think that's something that you want to be relying on. Whereas a GPS is just satellites. Bad reception or otherwise, they will always be able to capture all the satellites or the appropriate satellites and be able to give you your destination. Both are able to input GPS coordinates if you don't have uh, points of interest. But uh, I think that on using both, I find that the GPS is uh, like the Gamin or the TomTom -tom, are far more accurate and actually gets you to your destination. So these are basically all the various um, gadgets or devices that we use uh, today and take for granted of or actually depend upon. Uh, as opposed to the, uh, the past um, and I think it's a boon use it if you have it or use it lose it or use it or lose it as they say so whether it's uh, a communicator like the 30k or whether it's a camera like the GoPro Hero 7 or a GPS like uh, the TomTom -tom Hero 4 uh, sorry, the TomTom -tom 400 Rider. Uh, I think these are wonderful gadgets to have. Um, what the hell? I think these are wonderful gadgets to have. Uh, do, um, if you do like this video, uh, please leave your comments below. Uh, and don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like, and of course, uh, click the notification button uh, so that you can noti uh, get notified on uh, the new videos that I put up. Once again, folks, thanks. I'm Fletch. Have a good one.